Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back. So it's, uh, let's see, day five of the painting challenge. And uh, just to make sure you will actually see some kind of painting from me. <laughs> I based these, uh, these four guys. So I'm gonna uh, start painting them uh, tomorrow for day six. I know, it's a bit late, but hey ho, that's what happens. Um, but that's not what I was about to show you today. I have to excuse the shaky cam. I'm gonna move these guys away so I don't break them before I paint them. Um, so this is actually one of the train boards I'm gonna finish for the next uh, few scenarios in the Inquisitor game. So this is just <clears throat> like uh, 12 millimeter MDF sheets. Uh, it's gonna be a 4x4 board. So it's a little bit smaller than a regular sized Warhammer 40k board. Um, and I added some um, wood planks, whatever you call it, on the underside of this. And this serves uh, pretty much two purposes. Uh, one, it makes the board uh, more likely to actually stay flat. Uh, otherwise with MDF or any other sheet material, if you add like uh, <coughs> glue or other um, compounds on the top of it, it might uh, cause the board to like bow a bit from the edges and not be straight. I found that adding these to the edges actually gives it a bit more strength. So I just <coughs> glued and put in some screws. Uh, you can see that they are actually sticking up a bit from the board and that's fine. I'm gonna explain why in a little bit. Um, <coughs> The other good thing with adding a board under under the the sheet is that you actually have the opportunity if you want to countersink something into the board. Say for example you want to have like a pool or a crater or something like that. With a board that's raised like this you could actually take out a bit of the MDF board and glue something from the underside and have like a depression in the board itself if you wanted to do that. Uh, <clears throat> but that's not what I'm gonna do probably. I might. We will see. This is kind of an ad hoc procedure for me because I kind of know how the board will come out but I'm not sure about all the elements. So I wanted to show this as well. This is a material <clears throat> that is actually an uh, XPS foam. So it's not the, like the white uh, sort with the little foam balls in it. It's the uh, expanded extruder. I don't know which one is which, but this is like the pink foam that you can use. But this is only a couple of millimeters thick. And this is actually used um, when you lay flooring. Uh, click gold in Swedish. I have no idea what it's called like if you buy it in uh, abroad somewhere, but it's those like uh, flooring planks that you can put together and they kind of snap together uh, And they use this under the floor to get rid of noise <clears throat> So it's like a noise reduction foam mat so to speak uh, And they can come in rolls so they can come in this kind of big sheets uh, and this is perfect for terrain boards if you don't want to add too much mass or just want to add something on the hard MDF board to be able to make texture and stuff like that. So the next step for this board after this is cured uh, and been finished by tomorrow probably is for me to actually uh, cut up this sheet uh, and cover the board with it. This is where the uh, screw sticking up is coming in, uh, since this is a couple of millimeters and this uh, is much less than that. The, the screws, if you make room for them, will only add to uh, the strength of the glue when you put this down, so it doesn't slide, slide around or get loose in some way. Yeah, so that's, that's the step I'm at with this uh, train board, and I'm gonna try and put in some updates uh, during the challenge because I need this to be finished in I don't know a week a week and a half maybe so we can use it in our next scenario so yeah and that's gonna be it from me uh, only 
something that's left is asking today's question. Answering, not asking. What am I talking about? So, you can stare at this beautiful sheet of foam this side up. Uh, what equipment would you like to have for your channel by next year's time? Well, that's a nice sentence. Uh, I'm guessing by this time next year. Oh. <clears throat> Good question. I heard some other answers like uh, I want uh, new light or cameras and stuff like that. I think the camera on my phone is good enough for what I'm filming. I actually have a quite good light setup because I keep on adding lights to my work desk to really get uh, to see what I'm working on. And usually I'm filming there and not uh, in this room. Uh, so I got good light. Uh, but I think what I what I like to have is a good microphone because I don't think this like uh, mobile phone microphone is picking up the sound. It's okay, but it's not good. And it's like if I turn my head around, it's the volume is much lower and so on. So I think uh, like a good microphone, a Blue Yeti or something like that would add a little bit to the to the channel. Uh, yeah. So I think I'll go with that. I mean, uh, pretty much everything else. I think I have what I need for my humble purposes. So uh, I'll say goodbye for today. And I will see you tomorrow for day six. Bye.